It's drawing towards the end of April and it's been a truly wonderful month blessed with some magnificent weather. This short and easy two mile circular walk starts from Irwood Hall car park which is about half a mile along the reservoir from the main car park beside the dam. Full directions of this and all the other walks can be found on the companion website at www.goit-valley.org.uk To start the walk Simply go past the car park on your right and head up the single track road. Look out for a small gate on the left, walk through here and along the riverside path. There are some wonderful views to enjoy as the path slopes gently down to the river's edge. It's also a great place for picnics. It's easy to see why visitors have been attracted to this part of the Peak District since Victorian times. It also shows what magnificent countryside was lost following the construction of the two reservoirs. Fernie Lee in 1937 and Irwood in 1968. After enjoying the tranquil views, climb the stone steps straight ahead and turn left along the road. A small car park on the right was once the loading point for pack horses, taking stone from the nearby quarry. It's said that the well-known removals firm Pickford's started here in the late 17th century, after the founder decided there was money to be made by bringing back goods to sell on his pack horses, rather than have them returning empty. But this road has been used to transport goods for many centuries, probably since Roman times. Today, just a short distance away from here, stands a small but picturesque pack horse bridge. It was saved and moved here in 1965 during the construction of Irwood Reservoir. Before then, it had been in the heart of the hamlet of Goitzbridge, just a half a mile further downstream. Goitzbridge now lies under the cold waters of the reservoir, opposite the site of the small car park. A few remaining walls can sometimes be seen when the water level drops during severe droughts. Goitzbridge was once a mecca for tourists, who flocked here to enjoy the magnificent scenery of this magical part of the Peak District. From the bridge, retrace your steps along the road, passing the quarry on your left and the steps down to the riverside path on your right. From here, you can either walk back along the road to the car park or take a more scenic route through a wooden gate on the left, opposite the entrance to the riverside path. Look out for a sign pass on the left of the path, from here you have a number of choices. If you've got the energy, you can turn left up the slope and head towards the famous Cat and Fiddle Pop. You can carry on in the same direction and follow the path towards the evocative ruins of Irwood Hall, or you can simply turn right 
and returned to the car park beside the reservoir. All these walks and more are on the companion website at www.goit-valley.org.uk. We also have some wonderful photos of Goit's Bridge and Irwood Hall before they vanish forever. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>